Hello, my beautiful Media Glitch family. Thank you so much for joining in uh, with us today. And I am on the couch, not alone today. I got Harrison from Jenny Fedora. So you do YouTube, you do VidMe. Do YouTube and VidMe. So check out uh, his uh, channel uh, when you get a chance. And back there in the back, we got so, Miguel, Michael, Yeah. when we're in the US. But anytime we hang out in Mexico, I call him Miguel all the time, man. What do you call, what do you call a Harrison in Mexico? A Harrison? Hmm. Um, uh, I don't know. Ha Harrison. 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 <laughs> so, well, man, uh, so I, I, I sent you a code. I said, could you review this game for me? Yeah. I'm far too lazy to do so. And you said yes. Yep. And what's the name of the game? Let us know. What's up? So City Climbers is the game Okay. Uh, you sent to me to look at. So this game's on Steam. Um, it's a physics-based game. It's uh, a lot like I Am Bread. Right. So basically, it's physics, and you're supposed to be traversing across, look at that. across the terrain. Uh, this game is very... Uh, cell shaded art style uh it has co-op it has uh single player and it's uh very linear too versus okay. what you get with uh i am bread i am bread was you had like cameras you can move go all over the room this keeps you locked camera locked camera gotcha. on a path the whole time got yeah but it is stylized i like the art style yeah and looks good that was that was actually pretty good so for this is a unity based game and we had a lot of fun playing it because we actually played it co-op on the channel when you see the guy there with two different color arms that's a co-op play where, okay. where each person is controlling an arm versus right now on oh the train, really this is uh this is the single player version <laughs> oh, oh they threw you for a loop there yeah yeah nice. and so that's one of the things with traversing this is if you screw up you end up having to start the whole level over but pieces can break off and so you have to be very careful before you let go of your other hand or else you'll fall and then you're done physics base yep is what it looks like to me and it is and the game gets progressively harder there's 14 levels uh very quick game to get through though i overall it's about under two hours i say about an hour and a half yeah wow, that is short but i do want to point out I do want to point out, this is done by one guy. Oh, okay. So, and he even puts up a little thing here at the beginning because he's honest about his game. One developer is doing this. See, that's him. I always, I always think that's impressive. Yeah. When one person says, you know what? I'm going to make a video game, you know? And he gives it a go. Yeah. I, I, I respect that, man. I respect my, my respects. And there's definitely props to him. It's, yes. It's one guy. But I still have a lot of constructive criticism in regards to this. Hey, we want a second game to be good, even better, right? Yeah, and right, so. he's already been doing a lot of patches already. Oh, so cool! So he's, he's updating. He's uh, he's updating. All right. One of my big issues right now, though, is scaling, right and on. that was a <clears throat> big issue for me because, you know, you're playing on 1080 on your regular 1080p on the oh, left oh, hand. Oh, the right oh. hand is 4K, <laughs> so. You know, this, this is 4K problems on the right-hand side you're seeing. One of the things is, if you notice the hands, Yeah. on the right-hand side, that's a lot smaller because it did not scale properly. So it right. made it a lot harder to see where you're supposed <clears throat> to be grabbing. Well, even that little box too didn't scale up, right? Yeah, yeah. and just the text was a lot harder to read. Now, the co-op mode, uh, while it was, it was fun, it also became very easy because what happened with the co-op mode is one person is controlling the left bumper. Right. The other is controlling the right bumper on a separate controller. So it's a one button game. And it's just a matter of listening to the sound, waiting for it to click on. And then the next person hits theirs and you can just fly through everything. The worst part is probably actually the, the control of the hand. Right. Uh, trying to get the arm to swing around. Uh, sometimes it's very frustrating. You'll see it kind of just sit there and go. It's like Octodad. Yeah. You ever seen that? Game? Yeah. That was a good game too. It's a lot like that, but overall, it's you know, control-wise, it's pretty good. Um, a lot easier than doing it with a mouse. So I even tried that, and it still got frustrating. But you'll see it kind of glitch out with a physics game. 
Right. And so overall, I was I was okay with with it, but you know, 14 levels though is a little short, and sometimes you couldn't even tell where you're exactly you're going to hit the end or what was going to happen. Uh, but not much of a story here. Not much of a story. That's what the little cutscenes were were the stories. But then you go into a party mode, you know. So you built in a party mode, and I think this was my biggest grievance. Was oh really? Was this? Yeah. That sounds like it'd be fun. It, it sounds, on the contrary, it sounds, not, a part, not a party going on, huh? Well, it sounds like the party mode should be fun because, right. I mean, it's up to four people. But they, uh, what ends up happening with this is the challenges sometimes are a little hard uh, to kind of figure out because, like, this one's rolling downstairs. And <laughs> the nice thing is, is at least there's only one controller. So yeah. you, just, you hot seat it. But as you're going to see here, the next person has a different stage. This one's stage seven. So you're not even competing all on the same stage. Yeah. You know, and there's only about three different modes right now. It looks hilarious though. It is. That looks funny. It is when you're, when you're playing with people. Right. And this game is good when you're playing with other people. I, I will definitely give it that, even though it is short. Now, the system but you wouldn't want to, it's not that much fun playing alone? Nah, no. It's like the movie no. Passion of Christ. No, it was fun I, with friends, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Blair Witch Project was fun with friends. <laughs> All right. So sorry. Is that like the passion of the totally Christ? random? Yeah. <laughs> Blair, Blair Witch. Witch yeah. Well, Blair Witch is a hit with friends too. Yeah. So so this game, um, the system specs on it are actually pretty pretty limited too. It's you can run it on about an eight year old computer. It's uh, we're talking like an, a second gen uh, system, and it's only seven ninety nine on Steam. Okay, but that's retail, okay. and that's and that's probably my my big gripe with this is right. when you're ta when you're seven dollars as a solo creator and you only have uh, less than two hours of content, you know, for the single player playthrough and all. There's not much repetition for going back. It feels might be a little not, steep. It feels a little steep even at seven dollars. Right. You know, but again, get solo solo designer. I give them absolute props. Right. For so. Sure. You know, if you're looking for something like maybe on sale, play, yes, grab it when it's on sale or something like that. On sale, you know, it's it's worth picking up. And hey, like it says at the beginning, he's a small guy, one guy that did this. Yeah, and I will absolutely give props to that every time for sure. You know, but there were some flaws with it. Uh, but if, if you, you, you know, if you like physics games too, yeah, maybe check it out. You know, if the physics based game, especially Iron Bread style, this is worth checking out. You can check out our co op gameplay over at uh, Jenny Fedora on YouTube. We did uh, go through this with all the coins and play through it some there. So you all can the see... coins is another channel, mm -hmm. not with like you did with a bunch of coins, you know. Nah, do it. So. Do with Avery with all the coins, and we play through uh, some of it so you could hear our commentary as we're sitting there. And one point makes the comment a lot more just... vulgar than this show, probably. No, actually no? not not that bad usually unless okay. I'm playing the games with the kids because with your kids with my kids my kids are adults <laughs> the kids are vulgar huh my kids are adults put it down yeah so so oh, they, cool man go watch their uh, go watch uh, their show yep. check it out and uh thank you so much for coming on the show not a problem uh, reviewing that for us and uh, don't forget to like this video if you liked it don't forget to comment subscribe all that good uh, jazz guys we love you thank you so much for joining in we'll see you next time bye bye let them know you want the pc reviews <laughs> <laughs>